Hi fam bam, welcome to the Simplified series. We're continuing our Things I No Longer Buy series by talking about household items that I no longer buy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy these videos and these topics on how to level up your current reality. Make sure you subscribe and hit your bell notifications to stay tuned for more. If you like these topics, let me know by hitting thumbs up and leave your questions and comments below. Also, be sure to check out my free decluttering checklist below to help you get clear in your spaces and hopefully with more efficiency and less decision fatigue. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the household items I no longer buy. This this is a list of things that I can just think of at the top of my head. I'm sure there's so many other items that are like normal or average or like that people regularly buy that I can't think about because I can't remember because I don't buy them. But the first thing that I no longer buy are things that serve the purpose solely for decorative purposes or decoration. I like things to have multiple purposes and if it is decorative, books, candles this is a game that we do play um, and this is a real plant actually a lot of you guys ask what this plant is it's called pothos or devil's ivy when you buy it it does not look like this so don't look for this beautiful vine usually it looks like just that top half so a lot of you guys say it's hard to find in stores it's actually a really common house plant and very very easy to take care of so when i think about how to decorate my house it serves a purpose, including the storage bins, etc. And so if it's just for decoration, I no longer buy that. The second thing that I no longer buy is a coffee maker. I do drink coffee once in a blue moon. Like if we have a coffee product and have extra coffee, or if we have guests that come over and request coffee, I like to cold brew my coffee. And it is so easy. It makes the coffee taste so much better. All you simply do is take the same portion of coffee grounds to water, stick it in a jar the night before you want it, and then take the time to slowly heat it up in the morning so that the roast doesn't burn. It makes the coffee less acidic, more smooth, and just way more palatable. Like you never wanna to go to regular coffee again. The beautiful thing is you don't need a coffee maker to do it, super simple. Number three on the household items I no longer buy is a microwave. Now granted, I do rent in some spaces, such as this one, that have microwaves installed already. But otherwise, my family does not use microwaves at all. It's not good for your food. It's not really healthy for your environment. And I just feel like that much radiation and stuff, it's just not really worth having around. I can find so many ways to heat up my food and reheat it by just reheating on the stove. It does take a little more time, but the benefits are super value adding to me. So we don't like microwaves at all. <laughs> Number four is a dish drying rack. If you are in a space like this one where you have a dishwasher, that's a great dishwashing, a dish drying rack to utilize. Otherwise, just taking a towel and laying it on the counter and stacking your dishes, it's super efficient. And we do use our dishwasher most of the time. We have some special items that we just hand wash because we don't want to stick them in the dishwasher or we use them that regularly that we don't want to wait for the dishwasher but um, it is more efficient we fill up the dishwasher every single night and use it even when we did hand wash the dish drying rack thing was just super extra in my opinion number five is fake plants and i guess that fits with things that serve only the purpose of decoration but fake plants are pretty cool. You just don't get the benefits of real plants, reoxygenizing your air, removing the negative ions, like just clean air. I mean, it's just amazing. And plus you get to take care of something, you get to talk to it. This is a living thing. Like I actually have a relationship with my plants every time I water it. And it's like an intimate thing. I am not much of a gardener, but I really do love my house plants. Number six is expensive art. This is an area that I probably have not developed a really deep appreciation for. At the same time, I do really appreciate art and I love going to art museums and I love learning of the history of art and I love viewing them. I think it's more just based on the level of responsibility that, it, I mean, I just feel so, like if I were to have like a $20,000 art piece on my wall, 
I just feel so responsible. Like I don't, I don't really want $20,000 hanging on my wall, if you know what I mean. I really don't wanna give anybody an excuse to wanna take anything from my house. So I like that part about my house. Like when people come in and out of here, there's nothing that they can really steal or take that means anything or that would be of value to them. So having really fine art in my house is probably something that I'll never really get into. Like I just don't, I just don't think it's part of like me and, and that's it, but I do love art. Uh, the sixth thing that I no longer buy is mops for the floor because I like doing things like Filipino style. I just take a towel, put it under my feet and kind of scooch around. Also, we do have a Swifter. I mean, it's not technically a mop, but we use a Swifter and we actually put the towel over the Swifter and then use that instead of like the actual Swifter sheets or like whatever they sell at the store. So that's kind of what we use and it works really well. The eighth thing that I don't buy for the house is dusting specific items. They're like dusting cloths, dusting, what do you call those, wands? They have like a stick and there's like some fake feathery stuff. <laughs> they don't work to me. Like maybe I'm not getting the right thing, but they don't work. Like I would just rather take my towel and just like do this in between every single blinds and do this over the top of like my mirrors and my picture frames and then just be done with it. But the little dusting thing, like I've tried it and I, I don't know, I don't feel like they make a difference. So that's why I don't get them. Number nine is paper towels and napkins. I would really like to not have to use paper products. We do have toilet paper for company, for guests, for ourselves once in a while. Um, and we try really hard not to have uh, paper towels or napkins we use uh, reusable towels for our napkins and we clean everything with cleaning towels. Once in a while we'll get a uh, one paper towel roll, especially if we have company or guests come over. They just prefer, we want our guests to be comfortable and we don't want to impose our particular lifestyle on anybody. So once in a while we will get that, but for our personal household use, we don't get paper towels or paper napkins. The 10th thing I no longer buy are beds. I got one and the one is for company, the one is for company, it's for work propping, we do get bed products. Um, the girls are actually using the bed now because I had no other place to store it. Once we moved our bedrooms, we swapped like a couple months ago or a few months, a while ago. Was it the end of last year? I can't remember, but we swapped. This is actually the office, which is a master bedroom. I had no more space to store that bed. Um, originally we had it leaned up against the wall and it was just, this is like, like an eyesore. So I was just like, are you okay with using the bed? They're okay with using it. So they're using the bed, but we don't, like if it was me, I don't care for beds. I would rather, like if it was my house, I'd rather build my own platform and have that same floor sleeping feeling um, with our topper, but like on a platform that looks like a bed instead of actually having like a bed and a mattress. Um, but that's just me. So number 11 of things I don't, buy household items that I no longer buy is a TV or cable. We do have a TV, it was given to us by my mother-in-law. They had an extra one with an extra Wii and it was something that the family likes doing is playing the Wii together. So we got that in our house, but it's something that I will not buy, will probably never buy a TV. And I probably shouldn't say that, I don't know. Cause sometimes I think if I have a house, I would put one in the guest room just to, I'm always like thinking about my guests. I like people to stay with me and never leave. <laughs> um, so, but I haven't bought a TV. Like, I don't think I've ever bought a TV in my entire life. Like ever, no, I've never bought a TV in my entire life. I've never paid for cable in my entire life. Number 12 is excess furniture. Excess uh, meaning like, I get if you want to swap your furniture out and I'm sorry, mom, I'm going to throw you under the bus, but my mom will like get a new coffee table and then like try to put the coffee table, the other one, like somewhere else in the house or like store it in the garage. And now it becomes excess. Like if I'm going to replace my coffee table, I'm going to either sell or gift the old one somewhere else and not try to like squeeze all this excess furniture in my house. If it doesn't fit, it's gotta go. And that's what happened here. I know that there was a lot of furniture and stuff that my mother-in-law brought from her house in Ohio when it sold. And there was a lot of stuff that I said I would like and that I would you know, want for the house. And all of it didn't fit in here. So I ended up returning some of the stuff and she ended up garage selling the, the things that didn't fit. And you know, it was just not worth storing and 
trying to worry about, trying to force in these spaces. It was a lot more stressful. So no excess furniture. Number 13 on my list is China or fine dining items fancy plateware, um, crystal glasses. I love that stuff, don't get me wrong. Like I very much appreciate when I go to a restaurant or if I go to a family event and we have nice dinnerware, it's kind of like the fine art thing. I don't wanna be responsible for it. I don't wanna feel the feelings of like, ah, it broke and now I'm like totally upset by it. Um, so I just don't do that and if I wanted to host some event like that someday I probably would try to find something that I could rent or borrow or like hire a catering company that brings their own fine dining because I just don't want to be responsible for that at all. Call me lazy or whatever, I don't know. I don't trust myself to have such nice things. The last thing on my list is a dresser or more for the spe specific purpose of filling up with clothes. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't buy a dresser. In fact, I think a dresser would be really nice sometimes because I wouldn't have to do this and it would just like be one furniture item where everything goes in. So I like the idea as far as functional storage space, but to use it with the purpose of this is where I'm gonna store my clothes and then to fill it with clothes, no. And that's probably one of the reasons I don't have a dresser because I, don't want to fill it with all these clothes or have even the temptation to fill it with all those clothes. So that's my list for now. If you guys have any household items that you no longer buy and want to share it with me, stick it in the comments below and let me know you like this video by hitting thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this list and I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. Remember to be good, be great, and be grateful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.